All right, in this video, I'm going to do some of the problems for the TNAV 1, a uh, TNAV 2, NS381, TNAV 2 test 1 practice. Okay, and I'm just going to jump right to the high value problems. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go start with uh, 23. So uh, you're going to want to have your handout for this, and you're also going to want to have this uh, page is from Bowditch. Now you can actually look at Bowditch itself, or you can have, we gave you this handout in class, okay? So, but if you're going to go to Bowditch 2, 1981, uh, you want to be on page 576, 577, 578, and 579, okay? And if uh, you're not in my class, uh, you can look up uh, Bowditch 1981, to, uh, and you can download a digital copy from somewhere. Okay. So, uh, this first problem is a plain sailing problem, okay? And uh, a ship makes 101 miles to the west while making 67 miles to the north. Find CN and distance, okay? So, I'm going to do this problem in, in, in a few steps. The first step is, is I'm going to draw out my quadrant, okay? I want to figure out my quadrantial notation. So, uh, quadrant. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my triangle and populate it, okay? Then I'm going to go to Bowditch, and I'm going to find my example. I'm going to follow those instructions. I'm going to solve the problem. Okay? So, start off with the first thing, the quadrant. So, to figure out the quadrant, how I usually do that is, is I just draw you know, like this, and I say, oh, a ship makes 101 miles to the west while making... I like to do the north-south direction first. Okay? Uh, that's little l. And the east-west direction, by the way, that's going to be P, okay? So the distance east-west is P, and the distance north-south is L. So it looks like I'm going north first. So I'm going north, I'm going west, okay? So this, my, um, my uh, quadrant is the northwest quadrant. So I'm going to need that because later on, I'm going to need to convert CN, that's the course to steer, and that's going to come from north, C west. Okay. Now, if you didn't, if you haven't been to the class, uh, anyway, in this, uh, anyway, this is the quadrantial notation. This is going to be the internal angle. And then this is going to be how I'm going to convert it from C to CN. Okay. So this is course angle. Okay. And I'm not going to go into all those explanations. I'm just showing you how to do this problem. I showed you how to, I, I explained all this in class. Okay. Great. So now that was step one. Step two, I'm going to draw my triangle. Okay. So I always like to draw the north-south leg first. So I went north, okay? Always start off with the north-south leg. If you go the east-west leg first, you're going to draw your triangle wrong. So I went north, and then I'm going to go west. So I'm going like this, and I'm going like this, and then there's my triangle. Now, you know, uh, I went 101 miles west, 67 miles north. So really, this leg should be longer if I'm drawing it proportional, but I don't need to draw it proportional. I just need to get my reference. So this is L. Okay, that's the change in latitude. And this is P, that's the change, uh, that's the, the distance east-west. This is D, and this is the internal angle. Okay, so now I can populate that. L is 67. P is 101. All right, now they're asking me to solve for CN and D. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Bowditch. Okay, and when I go to Bowditch... I'm going to go to uh, pa uh, Plain Sailing, which starts on 576. And down at the bottom of page 576, there's example 1. And at the bottom of page 577, there's example 2. My problem is like one of these problems. I am being asked to find course and distance. So I look at this one, and it says, oh, find difference in latitude and departure. Well, oh, course and distance. So my problem is like problem 2. Okay. So now, now that I know it's like problem two, I want to see how Bowditch solved that. So I actually have to go to the next page. So I got to flip this thing over. And here is Bowditch solving this problem. And these are the numbers. Okay. So for Bowditch, it was a ship has steamed 136 miles north and 203 miles west. Well, my numbers were. 167 miles north and 101 miles west, okay? So I don't have the same numbers, but I've got the same type of problem. So let's look at how Bowditch solved this. So I had, Bowditch had 136 miles north and 203 miles west. So I flip this over and I see that, oh, 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 wait a minute, look at this. 
Bob is just telling me how to do uh, uh, what formulas I should do. I should do tan C equals P over L, and then I should do D equals L, L C can't C. I'm going to have to massage those a little bit. So I got to go like this now. One, tan C equals uh, P over L. Okay? Okay, now I need to solve this for C. So C is going to be inverse tangent of P over L. So now. I can start to solve this. C equals inverse tangent of P. What was P? P was 101 over L, which was 67. C equals, okay, so I can turn this thing on. I do a little clear action. So I'm going to go second tangent. That's how this calculator works. 101 divided by 67, enter. And I get 56.44. I'm going to call it 56.4. Okay? So that means that this angle is 56.4. Now, you're not going to tell your helps person to steer 56.4. You're going to tell them to steer this exterior angle. So that's where we need this. That's our quadrantial notation. So I'm going to take the 56.4. I'm going to stick it in for C. And then the north, I'm going to reference off of north. That's either going to be 000 or 360. And then the well, west is going to be either add or subtract. Okay, I'm running out of room here. I wrote, took up too much room over there. But anyway, so so my course angle is going to be, uh, oh, it looks to me like I'm going to be west of north. I'm, that's subtract. So I'm going to go 360 minus 56.4, and my CN, my course to steer, should turn out to be 303.6. Okay? So that is the CN. That's the course to steer, 303.6. Okay? Now, the next part of the problem and, uh, is uh, I got to do, what about it say to do next? About it said to do, oh, D equals LC can't C. Now, D equals LC can't C. You know, what the heck is C can't? This is C can't is 1 over cosine. Okay? So really, this is really D equals L over cosine C. Okay, so you're just going to have to kind of remember to convert that. All right, so now I'm going to do that. 2, D equals L over cosine C. Okay, D equals, what's L? Oh, L was 67. That's the difference north and south. So that's 67. And cosine C is cosine. Okay, now C technically is the interior angle. So you could put in, you shouldn't put in the 303.6. In fact, you'll be okay. If it turns out you get up a negative distance, you just take the negative off. But really, you should stick in the 56.4. Okay? So 67 divided by uh, uh, 56.4 is D equals 121.1 nautical miles. And that is the second answer. Okay? So that is that problem solved, okay? And I used that, I used Bowditch example two as my reference and it gave me my instructions on how to do that. So that's that one.